So hey guys, how's it going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode. And today in this episode, we are going to learn how we can actually run an offline LLM or you can say local LLM, such as which we used to run on Olama. We can run that on Google Colab and create an API such that we can use that LLM in our projects using that particular API. Now, why is this thing helpful? Now we know that Chat GPT API, Gemini API, Cloud API nothing of them comes for free everything has a payment for them even for small development projects we can't use them so that's why this is the alternative which you can use and this is quite helpful so let's get started without any further ado so first of all go to google collab which is collab.research.google.com and create a new notebook and once you create a new notebook the first thing you do is go to runtime and then uh, go to change runtime type and you can use CPU or T4 GPU, but T4 GPU provides you more power. So let's shift to T4 GPU. All right. And once we do that, click on save. Now, the first thing is that we need to install these three things. The first thing is PCI utils. The second thing is Olama. And the third thing is PYNG rock. All right. So I will give this notebook in the description. You can just get it right from there. All right. So let's run this. And within few minutes, you will see that all this thing will be reinstalled and it will just be fine. So you can see the installation has started. So guys, now as, as you can see, this thing is done. So now you can see uh, ngrog is installed. So fine. The next thing is we are going to use Olama. All right. So we are going to create an Olama thread, which we will start later right so what does this thread contain the first thing we are giving some few environment variables the first thing is olama host so that it takes uh, like i mean requests from all different ip addresses so that's why we are going to use this and then olama origin so that it accepts all different domains and then olama keep alive to minus one all right then we are creating a sub process which which is olama sir all right and then we are creating a thread with this function and then we are simply starting it so this much is fine so i'm going to run it now so its execution is complete now what we need to do is we need to pull an olama model to use right so what i'm going to do is if we search for olama models you can just go to the library and then you can simply search for any model i'm using gamma 3 so what i'm going you can just click on that model and simply find its thing i mean the name you can get any different parameters so here for this example i'm taking gamma 3 of 4 billion parameters so if i run this command you will see it will just take a, it's of 3.3 gb size and it will simply be pulled into our manifest all right so i'll meet you again once this is done so guys as you can see this thing is also done so if we go to the next command now what we need to do is we need to set up ngrock. So first thing, create an account in ngrock, and then this is how the dashboard looks. What you need to do is go to auth tokens in identity and access, click on add tunnel auth token and you will get a auth token. Just save it somewhere. All right. Now once you do that, what you need to do is click on this key icon in Google Colab and add the name ngrock auth and then add that value here which you just copied all right and just make sure that this is checked all right now once you have done this much stuff you can just do this you can just get that ngrock auth and user get it and set it as the auth token and then create a tunnel for ngrock connect the 11434 host like as we know olama uses local host 11434 so we are just connecting that to an http and then getting a public url for that now if i run this you will see i will get a new public url now you can see this is the public url if i click on it you will see this if i visit the site you will see olama is running now this is fine now after that if you want to see what's the model you can run this but currently we don't need this because we just installed gamma 3 4 b so it's fine now this is a sample curl request so if i run this you will see all right we got an error let's try running it again all right there is an error let me check it 
all right the error is simply that we just need to replace this string with this domain url so i'm just going to replace it and again making the curl request so now you will see the curl request is successful so guys this url will change because Collab doesn't keep its server always on. Once there is some certain time that you leave it, it will automatically get stopped. So you can't use it for production environments, but for development purposes, it's fine and good. All right. So yeah, let's see the result. So the question here is what is the capital of India? As you can see, and the model is Gamma 3B. Fine. So let's wait for the response. So guys, it took around two minutes because we are using free tires or free tires of everything. We are just simply, uh, it is quite slow because it's a free tire, right? That is what I wanted to say. And now this is a sample of curl request. And similarly, if you want to do it using Python requests, you can also do it. So here I'm just going to replace this public URL again with the new one. All right. Now, if I run it, it will just let me just give you a brief example of how it is going to work. So you can see request JSON and this is headers. We are having content type application JSON and this is the data, which is the model gamma 3 4 b the prompt and the stream to be false. And then response request dot post. We just pass in that data JSON dot dumps data. And then we are just doing a little debugging and then just getting the response if it is in a proper format that is it now let's just try changing it let's say who is sundar pichai and if i run this so here's the result you can see if you come here you can see sundar pichai is the c of google and alphabet inc so yeah it's giving us proper responses now Trust me, you can also use the same code in another device and it will still work. Let me show you a sample. So if I open VS Code real quick and uh, let's run this code. So what we are going to do is paste the same code here. As you can see, this is the same code and uh, I'll save this file. And once we have done this, let's go to CD AI Trainer. All right. What we have to do is let's just simply say Python test dot py, and if I hit enter, it will give a result in few seconds or maybe minutes, depending on the server speed and all. All right. So now you can see we got the response here. So the picture is the CEO of Google and Alphabet Inc. He is usually in French. So yeah, we got very good information about him. So this is how it works, guys. This is how simply you can also host your basic LLM on here, right? So that is very fine and cool. So that's it for this video. I'll meet you again with another good video. So until then, bye, guys.